In, in this video, we learn how to write wavelength code for sequence detector. Okay, so sequence detector, so which is used for detecting the sequence one zero one one. That means if you get one zero one one, you should get an output of one. But to overlap is allowed. Okay. Using the, the, uh, this is example and then it has a finite state machines. Okay. And now uh, the, there are two models in that VA and URA machines. Okay. Now we will we'll see in this only the VA model. Okay. VA model. Okay. So this is the code for this. So to understand this, first we should know this diagram. Okay. State diagram. How, how the states are changed. So since there are the, the uh, sequence is four state one zero one one so we have four states so s not s1 s2 and s3 total four states one zero one okay so these are the four states so first this is the first bit okay this is your lsb this is your lsb so if you're getting one Okay, then you have to go to the next step. Here, if we see you getting 0, you should get the next step. If you get 1, you have to go to here. Okay, so like this, this sequence will be added. So, see here, first, suppose here in your present state is PS. Because PS means present state, NS means next, next state. If your present state is here, and if you give input, okay, input, x okay if you are getting 0 that means what the sequence has not started so it should remain in this state okay same state so if it is 0 then you have to remain in this state and output z is 0 down on this 0 similarly if you get 1 that means first bit the sequence has started so you have to go to the next state next state will become your s1 Okay, so understood these two. Next, now we are in S1. So S1 is here. What you have to detect in S1 state? So you, so if you 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 get an X input of zero, then you have to go to the X state of S2. Okay, zero. If you are getting one, that means here you will get one. So sequence is not detected. Hence you have to be in the same state. So, so you get one. Output is 0, you have to remain in the same state. Okay, now we are here. So, here means the third state. Third state, what you have to detect 1. So, if you get 1, you have to go to the next state. That is here, S3. That is 1 here. Suppose here, S2, you get 0. That means 0. Okay, so if we get 0, what? The sequence is wrong, so again you have to go to study. So you have to because you have to get again one. So here from here it is moved to here. Okay. So this is about S2. My class to S3. Suppose S3 you get one. Okay. If you get one, what's the meaning? That means you got the sequence. Okay. That means if you get one. This is so you have to get output 1. So that's the way. Since you got 1, okay. Since overlap is allowed, after 1, what you have to detect? 0. Okay. Since overlap is allowed, that means your sequence is 1, 0, 1, 1. Now next state is 0. So divert this to this state. This state means S1. So this is moving to S1. Because overlap is allowed. Okay, yes. suppose you get 0 here. Okay, so if you get 0 here, what is the meaning? That means you got these two say next you have to delete for 1. That means you have to go to S2. So, yes, you move it to S2. That is 0 by 0. Okay, so this is the, this is the diagram for this. Okay, now the code. Same. What are the inputs? Now this is the module A sequence detector. It has input X, clock, reset, output Z. Okay, which is of one bit. 
parameter since four state is not s1 s2 we declare and we should assign the value 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay so s0 s1 s2 are given is bits 0 1 2 and 3 okay temporary register we are declared present state and next state which are of two bits okay because four states no zero or uh, these four states we should Represent it four values. This will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Right. So it will present checks next step 1, 0. Okay. Now start. Always at the rate of first to edge of clock and first to edge of reset begin. If reset, then S0 is equal to present state. That means you have to start here. Okay. So if you get 0, then you have to be in the same state, which is here. Okay, else your next state will be your present state. If it is, if it is not reset, means your your next the present state will be the next state. Okay, so this is parallel. Now this is the main logic. So always at the rate of positive h, our x whenever it is changing begin case. Suppose your present state, you are in here present state which is S0, okay, begin, uh, output is 0, so 0, what next state, so next state is equals to either this or this, depends on x, so x is 1, if x is true, okay, it has to go to S1, so S1, if x is 0, it has to go to S0, so same, it is really this is just to display present state. So dollar symbol display present state. Okay. This case begin, this end. Again, next S1. That means you are here S1. S1 begin, Z is 0. Here Z is 0. Now see, next state is equal to if X is 1. If it is 1, where it is going? It is remaining the same. So it is 1. If it is 0, it is going to x2. So 0 it is going to s2. So s2. So dollar symbol in this two. Similarly, s2. Now you are here s2. Begin. Since output z is 0 here, what will be the next state? That means here you are. If it is 1, that means that x2, x is 1, you are moving to s3. So s3. If it, if it is 0, where you are moving? You are moving to S0. So, S0. So, this is just display. X last one. S3. Okay. If Z is equal to, that means 1. Here. That is, that is next state. Here. If S3, if you get 1, where it is going? It is going to S1. So, S1. Okay. If it is 0, where it is going? It is going to S2. So you should write S. Here Z, you see. Z, X, it is 1. That means, if X is 1, you are getting 1. Else, if in this condition, if you get 0, here all it was 